Hi, I'm Jess. I am a fashion stylist. Just a little disclaimer before this series starts. Um, I have wanted to start the channel for eight years now and have filmed upwards of 40 videos that I have never posted um, just because I realized that I absolutely hate being in front of the camera. My job is behind the camera and that's for a reason, but I just feel like I have so much information that I wanna share to those of you who are stylists and want to branch out and try a different side of this industry. Um, I also want to make information available to those of you who are in college and wanna be a stylist to hopefully alleviate years of pointless internships and working for free when you essentially can watch a 30 minute video and learn everything you need to know about e-commerce styling, editorial, product styling, flat lays, um, yeah, quickly and efficiently. So um, basically I'm going to make these videos completely behind the scenes footage so that I don't have to be in front of the camera. I'm going to include voiceovers that just describe things into detail and walk you through the process and um, hopefully you learn a lot from it. So stay tuned. So to begin, um, this first episode is going to be on editorial e-commerce styling. This is such a broad term and I can dive into so many different sections that are under this umbrella, but specifically um, I'm going to teach you how to product style within the e-commerce world. Um, basically that means creating editorial concepts around a product and then executing it into an image that goes on the website and customers ultimately click into and purchase the item. So when it comes to product styling, I would get um, just boxes filled with different products, whether that be um, Apple watch bands or a suitcase set or um, a couch and a side table. And I would create editorial concepts around these products. I would have about 30 to 40 minutes to look at the product, research through Pinterest or brands that are like them and um, try to figure out a concept that I think would make customers want to click in on the image and buy the products that are underneath it. Um, like I said, I'm going to insert footage as I go, maybe some voiceovers. I don't know, this is my first video, bear with me. But <laughs> um, one good example would be the suitcase set. Um, you're given a list of products um, on your computer and their product imagery is on the left that has already been shot. Um, merchandising notes are right next to it, which include like imagery that they think might fit that product so that you can kind of get an idea of what they want. Um, this is from the buyers, just making sure that these companies are happy with the imagery at the end of the day because you are using their product. So I would just pick a color paper roll um, that I thought aligned with the color of the suitcase set and set it up the way I thought was best. Talk with the photographer about what kind of lighting I was looking for. You do have production assistants on set that will help you grab things. Um, there's a full um, prop room with pillows and decorations and paper and cutouts and it's just like a crafter's dream um, that you can use to make these images. Um, so yeah, you set it all up and then um, you'll do test shoots, move things around, um, just try to get it shot as fast as possible, making sure you know everything's zipped, everything's um, you know looks its absolute best. You're not all the wheels are turned. Just really being particular on what's going on in this image because the customer will notice and it might be a deal breaker for them. <laughs> you never know. Then from there, once you okay an image with the photographer, which you'll go through like however many 10 to 50 images you shot of that product, um, there's always more if there's you know a live model um, involved, obviously. And then from there, you'll go to like two or three and you'll choose your favorites and send them off to photo editing and they will edit them and post them almost immediately, if not the same day, the next day. And it'll go up on the website. And then you get to see like what kind of analytics are involved with that. Um, how your click ratio was, like if the customer fucked with what you did, um, how many people bought things because of your image. It's super informational and it really helps you like style the next product, um, especially when they are alike. I had some pony hair 
Apple Watches that were zebra and cheetah print. Uh, I'll insert the footage, the footage over this if I have it. I did a safari theme around it. I used real palms and leaves and just like wet them, had it on a nice white surface, and then did some clean lighting that you know went along with the Apple brand just to make them like pop off the page, but you still get a sense of what the product is and a feeling of you know, adventure and safari. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. I hope you found it interesting. Even if you're not in this industry, I still think behind the scenes footage like that can be super informational and kind of help you see um, product and commercials and the content that's in front of you every day um, in an interesting and new way. On the next episode, I'm gonna be talking about editorial styling and including behind the scenes footage of when I was a fashion assistant for Elle magazine, um, as well as other magazines that I worked for. So yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.